on today's episode of Broken Twisted Garage. Yeah, that fast pump is dead, I think. I do a little bit of work to my 01 Damn it! I got the Ranger running for the first time this year. Wrecked my tripod. And then we do a little mud racing for the first time this year. Welcome to Broken Twisted Garage. left off on this old girl we're tearing the fixing the starter and trying to get it going and uh, well it wouldn't go so long for it engine i had planned on doing this anyways it just had to come sooner this is a beautiful 12 valve five speed four wheel drive so put the 12 valve five speed four wheel drive in this truck and then uh, she'll have overdrive from the five speed and I'll double the T case. So, I mean, she'll pull the house down if you wanted to. And I know everybody's gonna say, well, that, that new hollow motor, that would have been just fine. And uh, you're probably right. You're right. However, that new process 540 tranny that was in it, uh, it's just a one-to-one -one overdrive. So, uh, one to one with no overdrive, I mean. So, uh, and this MP NV4500 has an overdrive. So, I mean, the guy that owned the, that had this said that she'd barely do 70k with the gas big block in it. So, then you put a diesel engine that only revs the three grand in it. So, you'd be lucky to get 60k out of it. And well, that wasn't gonna, hey, Waylon, what's up, little man? That just wasn't going to be enough. A little pup on exploring. Where are you going? You don't go exploring, you monster. You only going to find coyotes out there. I know you're there. Yeah, I see you. So, yeah. So, the only way to make the RPMs lower in a diesel and go faster is to, one, put an overdrive on it. And, two, I priced out tires today. And I'm going to put uh, 646 inch XLs on it. And I get, it's got 38s on it now. So that'll give me another uh, 4 inches of height and another 8 inches of tire. So with my math and that overdrive and giant tires, she should be able to do 80 and not be screaming down the road. And I, like, I, it doesn't have to go faster than 80. 90% of the time, this truck's just going to be used around the yard. You know, and then kind of as a novelty showpiece for the channel. And but what I'm going to do today, I don't want to start ripping the cab off that truck and yanking all the motor train and transmission out of it, her and T case out of it, until I have another good diesel to drive. Because although I do have my gas job, well, I got two three quarter ton gas jobs, but they get about five miles to the gallon. So I think I'm just gonna rob the sending unit out of my 90, well, out of my 70, for our go for now. And shove it in that red old one. Like, don't even bother pulling the tank down. Just get out your Sawzall and a grinder and just find a hole that you can get at it. 
these are all loose anyway because I was just uh well other than the plug that looks like it's broken and corroded that's fine all that is is the gauge because uh, it's got the fast fuel system on it so oh nice just put my hand right in the mud that I stepped on mint so yeah so uh that, that electric harness don't matter anyhow it's just the sending unit so don't worry about that Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, the screen's all plugged up in it already again. Well, just dump that on the ground. Look at this screen. Maybe that's why it, uh, it doesn't like pulling fuel through this dirty old rotten hose. I thought I cleaned the screen. Good Lord, how would it ever suck any fuel out of that? All right, so after more trials and tribulations, I filled this thing on the weekend. And this fast lift pump still won't lift. So now, and I even brought the air hose over in a rag, had that stuffed in trying to push fuel through. Still not, so either my fast is dead, <clears throat> but it always did have trouble lifting fuel until it was primed. Um, every time I do a filter, I'd have a fuck around with it. So now <clears throat> I'm going to go lift pump to the lift pump. I'm going to feed one lift pump with the other lift pump. <sighs> we'll see if that does it. I have any way to set this here. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at that. All right, we'll click clack pump into the fast system. Now we should be feeding the fast. And that little lift pump, it should be able to pull through that little guy, no problem. Already up a little bit. Let's see if the fast pump will pull fuel. Come on, you fucking thing. My fast pump's dead. Because, I mean, now it should be pulling fuel. Oh, there's the noise I was hoping for. All right, now that I'm full of diesel. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, she pulling. Come on. Just fire. We're back up again. All the diesel mechanics in the chat are like, you idiot. All you gotta do is X, Y, blah, blah, whatever. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, well, fine. I mean, you want me to bleed your whole goddamn fuel system? You want to be all pissy pants, truck. I just want to drive you. And the truck's probably like, no, not him again. No. Yeah, it's me and you, old friend. Stopped recording, but don't worry, you didn't miss nothing, unfortunately. Brum. Come on, baby. Today on Broken Twisted Garage, I fight with this beautiful, beautiful 2001 rotten 24 valve six speed Cummins and try to bring it back to life. Welcome to Broken Twisted Garage. This way everybody can see the idiot that's uh, cranking on his truck when it's half dead and not fully bled like an idiot. That's me, I'm that guy. The reason I wanted to put this 
motor and tranny into that 600 it was because it's a six speed and i like the mv6 5600 and the 24 valve when it's working works good like this truck pulls good the clutch has been gone in it for like two years and i still pulled my fifth wheel two hours with it last summer and let that thing charge for a while because it wants to be fussy this old VE pump, and Peg was right, VE pumps just don't care. This truck, oh, don't leave it in gear, Paul, with the truck right in front of it, because uh, you got no master in there right now. That'd be a big oopsie. It's not even cold. Right? And that, my friends, is why this one, that's why this one is going into that truck, not that 24 valve. And I know 24 valves make a lot of power, blah, 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 whatever. Do you hear that? That's why this motor's going in that truck. And look, it's got like nine volts in that shitty little battery. And it's literally the tiniest little dinky car battery. Look at that. 700, 798 crank and a half. No problem. Not a, not a fucking, oh, that flathead. Not a, oh, look at that. Look at that front clip. That sassy front clip. She's gonna be sharp. We'll just bring that battery right around with the old map gas torch. See, that's the motor that truck needs. I ain't kidding you. Where are we at now, battery? It's been a whole six minutes. What do we charge an 8.3 amp? Oh, she was getting fuel out them injector lines. Oh yeah, she's she's good. You just want to kill your starter fully. Don't be patient. Don't wait until it's charged and then it's easy. But all right, you're getting all your PSIs. Let's roll, baby. Come on. Ah, we'll, we'll save on them batteries a little bit. And let it charge. It will fire, though. All right, well, this little, comp this little uh, thing is awesome. But it's not awesome enough. Well, you want me to throw it? Well, don't take it, then. <laughs> so i guess we'll go get the tow truck i guess i mean the good thing is the tow truck overcharges like crazy all the time so uh it'll help boost that battery even better so uh hopefully by the time i get it fired up i won't even have to uh put the charger back on it hopefully i can just once it fires, let it run. This thing was in the swamp last night and it's done good. Oh, yeah. See, the problem is that old one is it's too new. Soul Wrecker, boy. She's a sweetheart. It's got no brakes, but it don't need brakes. Brakes are overrated. Make the park pin the brakes. Oh, you thought I was gonna throw it, didn't you? Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go long with it, Charlie. Well, I didn't really go as planned, but 
I'm not a sports guy, as you can tell. There. Oh, I love this old truck. I paid $400 for this thing. Can you believe that? And yeah, she's she's charging good. What's on the radio? Oh, I forgot there's no fuel in it, though. Nothing wrong with Tracy Lawrence and your plow truck. What are they doing down there? Nah, this truck uh, isn't legal for the road. Just just if uh, YouTube's being all pissy pants. It's not legal for the road. It's just a plow tow truck. It's getting replaced by a bigger tow truck. Oh, I still can't believe that thing's mine. Still can't believe it. The grid heater makes the, <laughs> makes the fan belt squeak on that other truck. What's in this thing for music? Got to be a CD in here. What do we got? Oh, yeah! Hear that belt squealing over there? 13. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Just struggling. Oh, why aren't we making any piss eyes? Oh, there she goes. She's good. Come on. I got injector lines cracked. Oh, well. We'll let this charge for a minute, but that this this will help. All right, well, you got all the battery. Your injectors are wet. Pump is working, and that's good. And I know I should let it fire up and blah, 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 but it shouldn't need that. Like, that's just... Like... You don't need that. Oh, as soon as the grid heater come on, we'll just trick the grid heater. Okay, making fuel pressure. Let's go. And that fan belt squealing just means that she's giving her extra power. Oh. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on. Yes! Fucking bingo! Fuel pressure. Oh, and she's alive. Fucking A. Charge yourself, truck. Charge yourself. Oh, well, how come you're not charging? Oh, it's coming around. It's coming around. Okay, well, we're going to go and hook the other truck and see if it's actually charging. Because, like, if... Uh like, I'm obviously going to use that trucker in the air a little bit first just to make sure that that pump does come back around. And it's not just giving me false hope and going to leave me dead on the side of the road. But I really would like to... I really would like to uh, drive that thing. Because I do miss the 6-speed. I don't miss the 24-valve. But I do indeed miss the 6-speed. It's a nice truck to drive. Don't hit the pole. Ooh, ooh! I wasn't even looking. We were cutting her close. <laughs> she was tight. All right, is that hooked up? Oh yeah. Oh, what a good truck you are! You saved the day, plow truck, tow truck. You saved the fucking day. Yeah, fuck, I was close. Yeah, well. Close don't matter. Like a glove. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so excited about that truck. I was honestly starting to worry that the uh, ejection pump was toast on her, if I'm being honest. 
because that lift pump's been acting up for so long. And a VP44, I just, fuck, I was nervous. So that is excellent. Of course, I won't forget about any of that. Well, I mean, a guy's gotta know. We'll leave all that shit just floating around. Actually, maybe I'll take this battery for that little shitty lift pump out. You were a good battery. That's the one yesterday. I don't know if I made a video yet, but. I pulled that out of my scrap battery pile and uh, brought it back to life with that charger. Oh, yeah. Well, put my 7-Up back down there. Oh, and this clutch is shit, but that's all right. Oh, and the tires are flat. That's what I was forgetting. We'll get her up on the flat. Actually, no, we won't. We'll... Ah, it's not rolling. Take her right to the danger zone. It's a reliability, a reliability test. Mint. Yeah, we're gonna pump some tires up. I still got the, I do have the chuck in my hand. Nice. Well, I guess they're not flat. They're not pumped up. Oh, they're good enough to go for a drive. Don't worry about that later. You want to go inside, baby girl? Come on. You going in too, Waylon? Yeah, you and Charlie come in? Come on, Waylon. Come on. Good job, you two. Oh, yeah! I miss this truck. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's been a while, my old friend. I gotta just make sure she's still making uh, fuel pressure. Don't worry about all the junk in the box. I don't care. pump is fine. The sock inside it was so stuck that uh, yeah I just I just ended up ripping the sock off because I mean that fast got two filters on it anyway. So what the fuck do you need that for? Oh man. What a good day. Alright well Steve and Michelle are here now. So uh, the old three-quarter ton Dodge and the Blazer are gonna go test out the swamp. Just got a test on it. You got to know, right? Once he chewed it up a little bit, there was only one question left. We had to, we had to race. I was gonna say I didn't really worry about my own safety there. <laughs> Well, since I do have a mud truck, I figure I may as well try that out for the first time. Then you just fog. 
fog your air filter. The brand new one you just put on, you just fog that with ether. I do, I love that. forget this thing sat all winter i haven't really drove it since the tractor pulls last summer sometimes it takes more ether. i guess i did it uh, i fired it up at christmas for the cold starts there i just missed the filter accordingly tank as a fuel tank in the box so if it sits for any amount of time it'll uh, it'll drain back to the tank eh? that left lane that Steve's in is way worse than the one I'm in. On the ranger has a little bit of a flat tire. Yeah, that might, that might explain the steering issue. Yeah. We'll get, a little to the left, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We will get that remedied and be right back. <laughs> Stevie was a coward if he didn't try taking the tow truck through it. But uh it ended up biting me in the ass. That old that old girl hooks up pretty good. Look at that sunset. Gotta love it. Not a bad way to kill a Sunday afternoon. I 
got cocky. I got cocky. Make sure you check out the restaurant there. That old sweetheart moving stuff around and doing all kinds of crazy missions. saying the fur lane was the bad one I uh, ended up being just a little bit too much for the old tow truck <laughs> and then I mean when a tow truck get, or gets stuck in the swamp I mean you got to go pull it out with another tow truck oh, yeah. oh I hope I didn't take the battery out of this please please be a battery damn it damn it that thing gets around for two wheel drive it's unreal so i mean then we had to know like tow truck versus tow truck you know you, you just gotta do it it's gotta happen for this episode guys um <clears throat> what you bought a honda that's not like you no nah, i got a pretty good deal on it off a buddy of mine and uh if it's under 500 bucks and it runs and it's a standard right i mean it's a nice little car but it'll sure be a lot nicer in the winter than the old super jetta but anyway, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. It was mint. That thing's back up and running. I uh, I ordered a harmonic balancer for it because it's coming apart, so I'm not really going to drive it until I get that done. But then I can go pick up the rubber for this beautiful monster. And, uh, well, I'll make a video on this thing, but that's the, uh, that's the blue she's going to go. And then... Uh, yeah, just rattle canned a little bit of white on the bumper because uh, the bumper and the rims are going to go white. Look at that sassy frame. I mean, not bad for a rattle can job at when it's uh, below zero and freezing. And I never painted the inside of the frame because I still got to weld in the box to channel to make the, uh, to make the engine mounts for a 12 valve. But no, I think she's going to be sharp. Oh yeah, I left that there the other night too. Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, I think I think that that color would be just dandy. I think. Um, I just wanted to get it all one color, right? Because uh, I just wanted to get it all one color. Because uh, I mean, yeah, you can see it was originally yellow, and then someone painted it red, and then the guy that had it last painted it this blue, and it's nice, but. Uh, like, I'll leave the interior that color or whatever, but you can see, I mean, he painted it years and years ago. Eh? It's half faded off. And... So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get up some, get some broken twisted badges. Uh, decals made for it and uh, respray the deck red. I'm going to repaint the whole frame black. I mean, this old girl deserves to get freshened up. I mean, don't get me wrong, the guy that had it before me, like, it's in some shape. It's, it's for a 76. I mean, look at that. You know, like she's beautiful. A little bit of body work on the door or whatever. And I got a little couple spots I got to fix up on the front clip. But man, I just still can't believe this thing. But I think when she's all painted up and the logo's on her and stuff, I think she's going to be sharp, I think. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap her up for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more stuff on that wrecker, and that blazer and everything uh steve just put out a bunch of videos well steve's got a pile of videos on youtube there on the rust firm and make sure you check him out and uh yeah subscribe to his channel 
Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night. Cheers.